Okay. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. I made a little mistake earlier. That's why I'm kind of laughing a bit. I actually went into my personal file and I was already on World 5, which that's that's not what I'm doing. This is Let's Play Part 2, so we're going to go into where I left off last time, and that's in my Game 2 file right here, not Game 1. So sorry for all the people watching live stream, and for the people watching the edited version, you guys won't know what I'm talking about as much. <laughs> all right here. I am I'm ready for take two okay we've got 20 people watching so that's good that's that's 19 more people than when I first went live like about 10 or so minutes ago or 15 minutes whatever anyway all right now this is the right file here let's do this and about to take on the boss. That was where I left off at. If you watched the first one. If you haven't watched the first one, then make sure you watch the first one. What's my inventory? I have nothing. Um, is there... Is there a Cranky Kong shop around here? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy a Dixie Kong Bear real quick. I, you know what? I redid the intro because, because I messed up, dude. Because <laughs> I messed up on the, that was, the, the intro was for the edited version. That, the intro is for the edited version. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was strictly for the edited version. Which I even forgot to do the intro for you guys in general, but yeah, that I mean I would have just kept playing, but I was like, you know what, the edited version, I'm gonna cut out all that beginning, that first part where I play my other files, so that's, what, that's why live streams are awesome, because you can just, you know, you have a, you have an excuse when you make a mistake. Well, it's live, you know. Oops. <laughs> 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 Yes, yes. My inventory set. Play level. <laughs> Metroid, 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 Metroid. There we go. Look at that fur. Probably gonna play through the first. I'm gonna beat this one, then I'm gonna play through the most of the second world, and I'll probably stop it before like the boss battle or right before then. I don't know. I've got a ton of work to do tonight, guys. I gotta finish my review on this game for you guys, so I'm gonna be playing my other file more. I'm gonna be editing together footage so I can hopefully have my review for you guys um, tomorrow on Tuesday or early Wednesday morning. So this one's gonna be, um, like I said, probably gonna play through about maybe a little bit less than an hour so I can get you guys the review. And then, of course, um, uh, when I finish this, or when I um, finish the review, you guys will get longer Let's Plays on this game, so we can finish it up and move on to the next game. Probably move on to, uh, uh, what's that game, Armillo? I think one of those indie eShop games, I'm definitely going to be doing um, indie retro uh, show times on that, or something like that. Oh, but this music's tight. I'm going to let you guys listen to this music. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, focus, Francis. Dang it! Jumped right into those enemies. Ah, take that. Ah, oh, take it. Flop. 
Come on, walrus. Are oh, you getting mad now? Well, I'm mad too. Penguin followers. Gotcha. Oh, what the heck? Dang it. <laughs> Supposed to get more hits than that. I only got one. Oh, that's lame. Ooh, who said that? Oh, uh, Retro New Engine is powered by Cran Engine 3 or 4, it's over for the haters. No, Retro's New Engine, well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an in-house engine. Nintendo wouldn't, Nintendo wouldn't license an engine to make a Metroid game. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> it's gonna be built on their own engine. I don't know why, I mean, the Sonic Boom already runs on Cry Engine, whatever, so, I mean, Nintendo doesn't need to to silence the haters. Sonic Boom already silenced the haters. <laughs> that game looks better than a ton of PS4 and Xbox One games, especially like Knack. Knack runs on Unreal Engine 4. Game looks horrible compared to Sonic Boom. <laughs> Who's seen Knack in person? Anybody in that? Has anybody watched Knack being played? Like it, the the bull shots and from what they showed, like at the press conference and everything, compared to the actual game on the TV. The game looks worse than Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I, I think this game looks better than it. Like, that game is looks horrible. <laughs> we got... You got... Knack is a horrible looking game. I don't know how it runs on the Unreal Engine 4. That is probably the... Probably Unreal Engine beta. Oh, this has some really good music. This, this, all of this, uh, these levels in this stage, I really like the music in them. Woo! You know, that's the one thing I'm definitely gonna spot in my review of the game. These these item collecting state or these item collecting bonus ones like they're like the same thing pretty much every time. They switch it up a little bit, but man, I think maybe that would have been a good area to use the Wii U gamepad would be uh, some of these here. But hey, whatever, it's not a big deal. That's your life. Is that up there? See, I, you know what I like about Donkey Kong Country? It's like collecting the bananas actually is like rewarding because it's like sometimes like if you have to collect all the bananas to get like um, a puzzle piece, you know. Whereas like in Mario, it's like you collect all the coins, you get nothing. Like you just collect the coins just to collect the coins. Half the time they just give you extra lives that you don't need. The one thing I love about Donkey Kong.
Beat all the enemies, get a puzzle piece. That's awesome. Duck. Fire pig. Get all the bananas. Get all of them before they disappear. No, come back here. There we go. Puzzle piece. Yes. I am not looking at the chat, so if you guys are saying anything to me, it's gonna have to wait. What's up here? There's nothing. I think I was watching Nintendo Domination play this stage. Like, oh man, the music in here is awesome. Gonna make sure. There we go. I'm telling you, there's no other character that you need to use other than Dixie. I already knew she was going to be the most, like, as soon as I saw her, I already knew she was going to be the best character. But let me ask you guys a question here. Doesn't Dixie have, like, some type of pop gun or something like that? Or bubblegum gun? I'm pretty sure she does, but I've never used it at this point. I'm pretty sure she... At least in the screenshots they showed that she did. Is that true? Maybe if you play with her uh, uh, without Donkey Kong, she has a... That's a heart. Need the... There we go. Banana coin. Yay. Get out of here. What's this? Oh, bananas. Collect them. Eh, banana coin. You're gonna need those banana coins if you wanna unlock all those figurines and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, still go up. I don't want. I don't want Diddy though. <laughs> I want to hit the. <laughs> Maybe there's something else I can throw at it. Oh, there. There we go. You guys know what I think is funny? <laughs> I'll probably put this in my review too. <laughs> These guys right here, it's like, what if you were walking, then all of a sudden a donkey went, Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny, I just think it is. <laughs> I'm just being stupid, I guess. <laughs> You have max lives. <laughs> I like the sound effects they make. They're like, "What?" When <laughs> you hit them. Snowman. Get him try to reach those bananas. I'll take those, please. Look at that hidden secret right there. That was so hidden. Oh, dang it! <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
So close to finishing it, too. Oh, I missed the banana coin. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Without Dixie, this game is considerably harder. <laughs> How come they can walk on those things and they don't fall? But the, the second I get on them, they fall. Is it because Donkey Kong's heavy? Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, I looked back to grab the banana and I accidentally pressed the jump. Died on like the easiest part. Ugh. I hate not playing with Dixie because then it makes things too hard. <laughs> I like Dixie, she's my favorite character. I don't have time for that. You know what? The sound effects in this game are freaking awesome. I have to admit, I absolutely love the sound effects in this game. And I would have got all the stupid puzzle pieces if it wasn't for the one extra stage that I missed. Anyway, yeah, the sound effects in this game, they actually enhance the experience to me. Because it's like, I'm looking forward to when like you get like the banana coin sound or when you actually jump on all the enemies. The, I, I absolutely love it. You're, who, who said that? Somebody said something about the sound effects. Talking about cute animals? Who is that? <laughs> He's talking about cute animals? <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> two two mountain mania. Let's play. All right, so this is my mission to all of you guys here. Um, I want you guys to start commenting more on non-Nintendo articles because what I've noticed is that when some, when one person comments on a non-Nintendo article, then other people comment on non-Nintendo articles. So please, to make things more balanced, try to comment on non-Nintendo articles too, not just Nintendo articles. Single banana. Stupid rat. Oh, here we go. Rambi. Rambi's in the house. Mm -hmm. 
No, no, nobody lives with Rambi. Nobody lives. I defeat all enemies when Rambi is around. <laughs> Autopilot Rambi. Oh, why did I do that? Can I jump off? At okay, yeah, I can. It purposefully starts you off in a bad position at the beginning for it to take longer. Here we go. <laughs> Ramby does not forget. <laughs> Ramby's like, walk by me. You get a rhino horned. Plain and simple. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Although Rambi does look... Is it me or does Rambi look kind of stupid in this one? <laughs> like his... Kind of looks like a Seth MacFarlane Rambi. <laughs> or is that... Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Get the bananas. Aww. That was going to be a puzzle piece, too. Get out of here. There's one animal buddy in this game. It would have been cool if they added more, but I can understand only having one since uh, they have all the different uh, characters instead of the animal buddies. Man, like the Mega Donkey Kong would be able to have like, all of those different characters plus all the different um, animal buddies. I want the ostrich! The ostrich is awesome! I forgot what the ostrich's name is though. Anybody know what the ostrich's name is in the chat? Please bring back the ostrich. Oh, this part I died a few times, so hopefully <laughs> look at Remy's feet. Oh, what? Got hit. No Rambi. I lost Rambi, but I'm fine. <laughs> Puzzle piece. He's back. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 almost fell there. Almost fell. <laughs> Get up. 
Yeah. Rambi just disappears. <laughs> I got 30 people watching now. A lot, a lot of latecomers probably getting home from work, you know, making something to eat. I'm gonna watch the live stream. Yup, yup. Game expoil. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they do really spoil everything. But that's for people who probably aren't gonna play the game. You know, because these days a lot of people don't even play games. A lot of people, they call themselves gamers. They'll play Call of Duty and they'll play like Battlefield. And then, like, they might like like old Nintendo games or like Sly Cooper or games like that. But they don't play them, you know, because you can't do little quick matches. They just watch them on, you know, Whatever, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I know that game, yeah, I, I watched it, you know, a lot of people just watch games these days, believe it or not. I mean, I don't really watch a ton of Let's Plays, actually, I barely watch Let's Plays at all, um, but I do watch some, though, I do watch some Let's Plays. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people these days, man, they don't even, they don't even play games, you know, and the only reason why I don't watch a lot of Let's Plays is because, um, I'm, I'm too busy doing my own Let's Plays, and I'm too busy, oh, the, I'm just too busy uh, just doing my own stuff on my website and stuff like that. Otherwise, I, I watch more, but they just take forever, and I just don't have the time to watch them. Take that. One banana behind all those behind all those barrels. Or all those logs. I don't like this level. Too hard. Nah, this level's not hard compared to some of the other levels. That one poison level, oh my gosh, that roll five just pisses me off. I'm trying to get everything in that, in, in, oh no, 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 dang it. Oh, there we go, perfect. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna get revenge on you, buddy. I'm not just gonna let you go scot-free. Take that and give me my banana coin while I'm at it. Bananas. Is there probably going to be like a... Is there a puzzle piece that comes down from this one? No, I don't think so. No, it's been this many petals. No, there's no, there's no puzzle piece. Secret! <laughs> Although I do watch, um, as far as live streams go, I do watch, or not live streams, Let's Plays, the Kobamani or whatever his name is. The, the, the Sonic fan, he's like a Sonic and Nintendo fan. I do watch him every now and then. His me has an afro, so that's cool. And then he called, who did he call? He called, uh, um... I forgot who he called Black Goku, but he called, like, I think Knuckles Black Goku or something like that. I forgot. He called somebody Black Goku, and I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's pretty fun to watch. But other than that... Oh, and I watch Attacking Toucans. I'll watch him every now and then. I watched his uh, Earthbound livestream. stream. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Take this. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you. You don't deserve to be here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I, get the, I want the banana coin. There you go. There's something up there. I know there's something up there, but... Let's try to see if I can get it again. Can't get out. I should have used the characters. I should have used the enemy to get me there. Maybe it's from the other side. Oh, it pops me too high up. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Ah, I wanted to just move to go over there and I fell too fast. That's lame. That's what I get for trying to explore. And I missed the banana. I'm trying to explore. Oh my gosh, I get hit. Accidentally rolled into that. Oh, come on! Come on, for God's sake, come here. I am not getting that banana coin. Not without Dixie. Come here, Dixie. Ah, oh, there you go. There's my girl. Take that. Give me more bananas. Oh, that was crazy. Ooh. The ones come with spikes. Oh, oops. Dang it. Not yet. Gotta go inside here first. I want that banana coin. This part's just amazing. <laughs> the music is just really good. Wow. Wow. I probably, if I collect all these bananas, I'd probably get something, but for the sake of me playing this live stream, I'll do it later. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> got killed by a pig. <laughs> oh, I got, oh, I got everything in the game. Or everything in the game. No, I did it. I got everything in the level. <laughs> yeah, this is easy compared to the later stages. Like, Retro is somewhat evil. <laughs> They are somewhat evil in when they make their games. Like, the difficulty ramps up so much. I mean, 
I personally, like, Donkey Kong is my favorite platformer from Nintendo. Like, I absolutely love Donkey Kong because it's just a much harder game. And I just feel that the... I, I like 2D, but I, ha I hate Mar like, New Super Mario Bros. series. I hope Nintendo never brings that series back. Like, I'm... I'm so tired of the new Super Mario Bros. series because it's 2D, but it's not even hard. It's, it doesn't even get hard to like the really later levels. And then on top of that, they have to make a whole separate game and Super Luigi U to make it hard. They have to do all sorts of weird things like cut down the time and all this other junk. Whereas Donkey Kong is just hard from the beginning. I don't, you know? So, I don't know. That's just me. All right, minecart. This level's tight. Oh, what? Okay. Give me that life back. It's a cheap hit. Jump! Banana. Oh, get up. There we go. You gotta look in front of you on these stages. Ah! Ah! I like how they did this, where they kind of transition into, um... Oh! Dang it! I wanted to get that end, but I didn't go deep enough. I mistimed my jump. Miss time that jump. Woo! How I don't come out as souffle donkey beats me. <laughs> and that part. I was wondering, I was like, man, he just went into a grinder and came out just fine. Oh wow, I need to pay attention. Retro, you hear me? Cheap! I missed that stupid end. There was a secret down there. I saw it. But for live streaming purposes, woo! I, I will not replay it. I don't need Rayman Legends. Rayman Legends needs me. <laughs> I like Donkey Kong more than Rayman Legends. I mean, I've played a ton of Rayman Legends. We got the extended demo. I like the game. It, it's cool. But Donkey Kong to me feels better. I also like Super. I, I also like uh, um, Super Mario 3D World more than Rayman Legends. Um, you know what Ubisoft did? I'm sorry. Maybe it's a bit personal, but what Ubisoft did was lame. Like I'll buy Rayman Legends. Like Rayman Legends is a gap filler game, and that's why nobody should complain about like droughts. Like no Nintendo owners don't buy Wii U games anyway, so it's like if there is a so-called drought, that's when you go pick up one of the multiple games Wii U owners didn't buy. Like this March and April, in addition to all the um, all of the smaller games I'll be buying, uh, Rayman Legends is going to be one of those games. Like if I see it for like 17 bucks on Amazon or something like that, or like cheap, I'll pick it up. Or like the same thing goes for like Assassin's Creed. Like if I see Assassin's Creed super cheap, I'll pick that up. But uh. Yeah, I'm not not too worried about uh, Rayman Legends. It's just Ubisoft's treach- like, that's just treacherous. Like, like, what's the deal with Ubisoft? I mean, come on, really? I don't want to spend any of those of my banana coins yet. I don't have enough exits. I know, secret passages. I hear ya. No. 
I'm gonna read the chat real quick. Like Mario better. I I just don't like I don't like New Super Mario Bros. Nintendo like I think that series needs to be permanently handheld. Like that that's when you get after New Super Mario Bros. U, which I think is a good game. I think I gave it I think I gave it an eight out of ten. It's solid. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like and when Super Luigi U came out, I thought Super Luigi U was cool, but I was just like I don't even want to review this game. You know, like, I don't even want to review it. It's just, it's just not, the formula is just not good. Well, it's not that it's not good. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm done with the new Super Mario Bros. series. If they make another one, I'm totally not buying it. I mean, I've bought, I've bought all of them so far to this point. I bought, I bought the DS one back when it came out. And I thought that was cool because it was like, you know, it was like a return to the classic. But even then it was way too easy. And then I purchased, um... New Super Mario Bros. 2. Purchased that. Purchased New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. Um, I purchased... I, I've gotten all of them. It's just... Nintendo needs to learn how to innovate with that series. Or just keep it portable. Or keep it DLC. Like, keep it like Super Luigi U. It's like 20 bucks. Because it's not... It's not worth the $60 that, that they charge for it. And now they're just giving away for free. So... Um, yeah... That's my take on New Super Mario Bros. Nintendo, step it up when it comes to New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, banana coin. Aw, oh, can't get all the bananas. Yeah, give me that puzzle piece. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, whoever was saying the sound effects in this game are awesome. They are just awesome. I like the banana coin sound. I don't, what the? What the heck? I rolled over him. Whatever. I'm not even going to try to risk getting hit again. Yeah, the brave get rewarded in DKC. The brave get rewarded. Yo. Blast off. Boom! Oh, well, you can only do that in DKC. Blasting off into the sky. I will turn back. Get these bananas. This is such a great live streaming game though, because it's like it's difficult, <laughs> and but then again, it's so easy to play. There's no need to backtrack or anything. Like, cause like there's one. I love RPGs. RPGs are my favorite genre, but RPGs are horrible to live stream. Probably the worst games to, live, especially for me, how I like to play. I like the power level, you know. So I can't play RPGs, but. I'll be doing a feature probably tomorrow, maybe. maybe you guys, yeah, you guys will probably see that tomorrow. Where I'm going to be talking about Bravely Default. So, yeah, that game is freaking awesome. Bravely Default is probably one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Oh, what the? I didn't bounce high enough to get hit by him. Okay, whatever. Bravely Default is just phenomenal. It is a phenomenally crafted RPG. Like, it, it's so good. I, I just got done beating... I'm not too far in. I'm about... Because I mean, I've been power leveling and stuff, but I just beat uh, side quest to get the thief. 
asterisks or whatever. And that ba that boss fight, I'm, I'm playing it on hard. So you know you have to you have to grind a little bit on hard. If you don't grind in certain spots, then you're gonna be dead. But uh, yeah, like I've been playing that, and if if you were unsure about Bravely Default, I mean I'm not gonna be doing a review, but I'll be doing like my impressions and just like buy it or not. And of course I'm gonna tell you to buy it. But uh, that game is so awesome. It's it's so good. I don't I I don't know how Square Enix they didn't even make Square Enix didn't even make the game. Um, what are those people? Uh. Silicon Valley or whatever it is. Silicon, not Silicon Knights. <laughs> Silicon Valley made the game. The, or whatever, there's Silicon something. Those guys are awesome. Because Bravely Default is awesome. I want to get that banana. There we go. It reminds me of a Nintendo game. It really does. But, like, it goes above and beyond many Nintendo 3DS games. Even Fire Emblem, in some respects. Like, Fire Emblem has nowhere near as many, um... Uh, what's it called? It features. Like, Fire Emblem does not use the 3DS as well as, uh... Which way am I... Okay, I think... Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. I thought maybe this was the alternate path. There we go. Um, Fire Emblem does not use as many features as Bravely Default does, like, which is surprising that a first party art, you know, that Bravely Default uses more features than Fire Emblem. And right now, I don't know which game is better, to be honest, but man, I, it, it, Bravely Default is giving Fire Emblem Awakening a run for its money, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. for that part real quick, make sure I don't die. Oh. oh, wow, the animation got me. <laughs> <laughs> the animation got me. I thought the, the pulling up animation, that usually goes right over my head. Usually. But if you pull up on there, retro paying attention to details there, like it. <laughs> I like how when they grab, they, they're going for like the puzzle piece and they just go, ah. And they just and it, they never they never actually grab it, but it's cool. Banana coin. Oh, missed that banana. Tony, the smooth 60 frames per second, man. You gotta really focus your eyes <laughs> when you play those parts. Oh, 
Thanks for the banana coin. I'll take it. Oh. A little low jump there. I'll take a Dixie barrel. What am I doing? Collect them faster, Francis. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> little Mac punch. I cannot, speaking of Little Mac, I cannot wait for Smash Bros. I mean, man, Nintendo might not make a ton of games, but man, they really make some awesome games though. Smash Bros. is gonna be so fun. Not wait for Smash Bros. Woo! This is what I like about DKC. It's like an action platformer. It's not even like a like a. Oh, oh, come on! Why am I not paying attention? I'm not. I'm over here trying to talk about DKC and I fall. <laughs> Pay attention, Francis. You got to jump off from there. Oh. Uh. I gotta do this whole part over again. That's what the GameSpot guy was complaining about. He's like, you gotta go back and it's not fair. You, 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 the checkpoint system. Sniffle, sniffle, cry. It's not, it's, it's too hard. Oh. <laughs> Man, I love DKC being hard. Like when I die of like something that's hard or even if it's kind of cheap, I'm like, I'm like, good. Next time I'll know to, I'll know to pay attention. I love games that are hard. Hard games are fun. I don't care how many times I oh, you know what? And I missed the end this time. That's whack. I'm gonna I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna die so I can get that stupid end. <laughs> I want the end. <laughs> I know it's not good for live streams to die on purpose, but still, I want the end. I can't get that now. I, I, I was going, I was... I want, I want that end, dang it. And there's a balloon right there, so I get my, get my life back. Or I get, get my life that I messed up back. I'm gonna get that stupid end. <laughs> if I don't get it, I, I, I will die again on purpose. Just letting you guys know. There we go. Oldest trick of the book. Try to get me to walk across there from the beginning so I don't have a way to get back. Nice try. Bang! I think the letter is on. This side right here. I saw it on this side. There we go.
Yeah. Oh, I missed one puzzle piece. Wonder what puzzle piece I missed. Huh. Weird. I didn't get everything in Donkey Kong Country Returns, which I think I should have, but I didn't. All right, this will be the last one. I'll finish this one and then we're gonna finish up this live stream right here. This went smooth. I love playing platformers on live streams. This is this is good. I remember I played Pikmin 3. That was a disaster. Any of you guys remember my Pikmin 3 live stream? <laughs> Last summer? Oh, that, that was bad. <laughs> I suck at Pikmin, and I don't think I'll ever be good at Pikmin. If there was, like, online play, maybe I, I get, I'd be uh, poised to get good, but there's... Just, there, there's not, so I don't care. But, uh, man, yeah, I stink at Pikmin. And, uh, you guys found that out firsthand. Although, I've gotten better. I mean, I played through the single player campaign. Uh, but, oh, look at this. Look at what this guy does. It's my banana. You gotta be kidding me. First shading. Go! Stage two! Inside here, this bird. Bird, you got no chance. I'm gonna take you down right now, Birdo. Oh, these are the ones that go real quick. Take that, Birdo. Oh, ho, 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 nothing. Let's go. Blast off. Stage three. You know what move I don't use at all? The Kung Pao. I don't ever use that move. I need to use it. Not now, at least. Not now, but when I, uh, <laughs> during the stages. I never use the Kung Pao technique. banana. Maybe I'll use the Kung Pao right now. Not right now. Banana. Get frozen Articuno-ish there. Oh, 
throw some feathers at me. Some really slow moving moving feathers. It's like, who are you gonna hit with those feathers? <laughs> Way too slow moving. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't work here. Dang it. <laughs> I thought it would work. Oh, what the heck? I don't want to lose Dixie, so I'm not going to try to roll over them. Take that. There we go. 21. part two there nice nice next time which will be friday and i'm doing it if you guys can't see me but i'm doing a dance right now i'm doing my, my victory donkey kong dance um so yeah it's not it's nothing special it's not as good as the niner dance but anyway okay guys that basically wraps it up for this live stream thanks for everybody coming out for the 30 or so people we had more probably more watching but anyway you know all these twitch streams work but anyway thanks for everybody coming out it was really fun I'm going to be playing the game again on Friday at 6.30, or sorry, that's that's my time. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be playing Part 3, because we're on World 3.1. So I'll be playing Part 3 then. Make sure you check it out on playerisense.com. It'll be the same time, 9.30 p.m. on Friday. This Friday, I'll be playing the game, so that's going to be really, really fun. Now, on Wednesday, look forward to my next playthrough. That will be a Bayonetta this Wednesday. Um, I'll be playing Bayonetta at 9 30 p.m um eastern standard time so look forward to that that'll be the finale of bayonetta so you guys come out to that that's going to be a lot of fun like the last boss in bayonetta is crazy so you guys can check that out all right make sure if you're watching this on youtube make sure you subscribe if you're on the website playeressence.com make sure you look out for more news coming tonight there'll be plenty of good stuff and continue locking it into playeressence.com for more news reviews trailers tips and tricks all right guys peace out see ya